Hey there guys, what's going on? It is your boy John from JTB Review here. Today we're going to be talking about the Inflamed record, um, Siren Charms. And boy, oh boy, do we have a lot to go through here. So, let's go ahead and talk about the band first because we have a lot of lineup changes. So, first of all, this is their first album to feature Nicholas Englin, um on rhythm guitar. So, hey. Uh, last album to feature Daniel Sevenson on the drums. So overall, we have Anders Fryden on vocals, Bajorn Gillette on lead guitar, Nicholas England on rhythm guitar, Peter Iwers on bass, and Daniel Sevenson on the drums. So, pretty alright lineup. I mean, we got some new new blood going on and, you know... But, uh, yeah, we, we got to talk about this record because we have a lot to talk about. Because this record is probably the most disappointing record I think I've ever heard by In Flames. First of all, I want to talk about... Um, I, I just think In Flames is getting lazy. I, I think, in plain view, the first track right out the gate, the synths are just so freaking loud and overpowering it just ruins the whole song not only that the vocals are just straight up terrible terrible and um however when the world explodes i do like the female vocals it switches it up a little bit so i do like that but boy man um even the lead single um uh, what was the lead single? Rusted Nail was the lead single, and I, I just felt like it just fell flat. I, I just feel like this whole album has just just been filler. That's what they. That's what the band. That's what that whole album name should be called. It's just filler because it's just it's okay solos. The drumming. The drumming's the same. Nothing's new with the drumming. I do like the drumming though, and that's pretty much what saves this record. But as far as the vocals, as far as the guitar work, the solos, it's nothing, nothing crazy. It's it's metalcore style music, radio friendly rock, and it's just it falls flat to what the band started off with, and it, it's just it's just really bad. It's not even savable, honestly. Um, it's pretty bad. So if I had to rate this record, I would give this record, sadly, I'm going to give this one about a 4 out of 10. The only reason why it gets a 4 is because the drums are really good. The drums are very good. And um, that's about it, though. That That's all it's getting. So 4 out of 10 for me. But what did you guys think about Cybern Charms? I thought it is their worst album to date. It's pretty bad. And um, let me know what you guys think down below. I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace out. See you guys on the next record.